day, everyone who went around with Merry Christmas on their lips would be boiled in their own pudding and buried with a stake of holly in their heart. Business! Mankind was my business! And I've come to warn you, Ebenezer. Somehow he gets thoughtful, sitting by himself so much, and he thinks of the strangest things you've ever heard. But I do believe that Tiny Tim gets stronger every day. Just fine, thanks. Mother's been baking all day. The house smells like a candy store. These are the shadows of the things that have been. They are what they are. Do not blame me. Ebenezer Scrooge, come in and know me better. I am the ghost of Christmas present. You've never seen the likes of me before. <laughs> She's a comical old lady, that's the truth. But her offenses carry their own punishment, and therefore, I have nothing to say against her. Well, frankly, my dear, I have no patience for her. <laughs> Look at him. Silly man, dancing around like a monkey. It is a small matter to make idle people merry. This is the even-handed dealing of the world. There is nothing on which is so hard as poverty. You of all people should know that. Goodbye, Ebenezer. I hope you are happy in the life that you have chosen. Wherever is your father and Tiny Tim? And Martha wasn't this late last Christmas. Oh, we did a deal of work to finish up last night and, and clear up this morning. They're such a goose, Martha. It's the biggest goose in all of London. Quickly, hide around the corner. Here comes Father. Father is so much kinder now, so much so that it's like heaven on her. <laughs> Why, if there's one dram of cheer left over this evening, I shall hang my head in shame. <laughs> oh, the day you hang your head in shame, dear, is the day of judgment for us all.